you're given a sequence of characters or a string, and the problem here is writing a function that takes this string as the input and finds the longest subsequence within the string consisting of a single character. In this particular example, that's triple B right here, which is longer than double A or double D, for example. And the return format of your function should be, depending on your language, either a hash table or a dictionary with the character as the key and the length as the value. And if you want to practice, pause the video right here and see if you can solve it and test your solution within 10 minutes. So how would I solve this problem? The key here is to go through this string only once from left to right so that we can solve this problem in big O of n in time. And as we go through this string, there are only five variables that we are going to keep track of. Current for the current character that we're examining, max count for the length of the longest sequence that we've seen so far consisting of a single character, max char for the character that sequence is consisted of, perv char for the previous character before the current character, and count for the length of the current sequence that we're examining. So let's say we're looking at the third character, b. Current is b, of course, and max count is 2 because the longest sequence that we've seen so far consisting of a single character is double A right here, and the length of that is 2. Max char is A because that sequence is consisted of two A's. Prev char is A because the previous character to the current character that we're looking at is A. Count is 1 because that's the length of the current sequence of a single character that we're examining, which happens to be here, just a single character B. If instead we were looking at this B near the end, count would be 3, because that's the length of the current sequence that we're examining, and we'll be able to replace max count with 3, and max char with B, and when we reach the end of the string, we're going to use max count and max char, which are 3 and B in this example, to return a dictionary or hash table with B as a key and 3 as the corresponding value. Let's see what this solution might look like in code. We're going to write a function called longest, which takes seek as the input, and seek is of course the given sequence of characters. And just for convenience, here I'm going to assume that seek is always non-empty. And the return value from this function will be a dictionary or hash table with the length of the longest sequence with a single character, in this case 3, as the value, and the corresponding key will be that character. The first thing we need to do in this function is we need to initialize some variables, max count, max card, and prev card. It doesn't matter too much what we initialize them to. After that, we're going to run a for loop for each character, which we're going to call current, in seek. In the for loop, we'll first check if the previous character is the same as the current character that we're looking at. For example, if current is the second D, in the string, then it's the same as the previous character. So in that case, we're going to increment count by 1. If that's not the case, if the previous character is different from the current character that we're looking at, for example, if we're looking at the first D right here in the string, then we're going to reset count to be 1. So when we're looking at the first D right here, we're essentially examining a sequence of a single character, and the length of that is of course 1, so count will also be 1. But when we get to the second D, we're looking at a sequence of two Ds, and the length of that is 2, so count will be 2. If this new count is larger than max count, which is the largest count we've seen so far, then we're going to update max count to be count. And we're going to also update the corresponding character, max char, to be the current character. And after that, we're going to update perv char to be the current character. And at the end of the function, of course, we're going to return a dictionary with max char as the key and max count as the value. That's my solution to this problem, and thanks for watching.